God bless Vin Diesel, my dear friends. Listen to what he said. I love him. You know what gets harder? The work off screen. The thinking, the, the expanding. There's a reason why Tolkien stopped writing after a while. <laughs> because it's so hard to continue mythologies. Nobody thinks about it in that context. But it's real. It's 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 not the easiest thing in the world to. Um, this is the Lord of the Rings of action movies. This is the Lord of the Rings of action. Well said, from your mouth to God's ears. It's so true. I should have stopped after the Hobbit. Yeah. Where's Hal, mean friend, and welcome to yet another video. All the gods bless Vin Diesel. Oh, thank you very much, Vin, for this. Now, before this gets out there on the internet, even though this interview is about a week long, I should like to thank that guy for bringing joy and light to my heart because he's precisely that kind of people who are, in a way, wholesome. And uh, before people start criticizing him, and I have already seen comments like this, I should like to say... you don't really think that this is to be taken seriously, do you? This was a clearly, clearly a joke. And uh, this video is really a video in defense of Vin Diesel, uh, him comparing himself to Tolkien and uh, comparing uh, the uh, Fast and Furious franchise to, well, that was a nice alliteration, Fast and Furious franchise to, uh, well, <laughs> The Lord of the Rings. Um, <laughs> but of course... Um, what you should be taken seriously is not Vin Diesel here joking around about his action franchise and uh, at the same time comparing it to The Lord of the Rings. But you should be taking uh, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay and uh, Prime Video seriously and their claims that uh, they can expand upon Tolkien's mythology and they can uh, really write the book Tolkien never wrote and uh, they can honor him and his legacy and bring Lord of the Rings to the modern audience. No, because the Fast and Furious franchise is precisely that film that is for today's audience. It started well, how long ago? Like it was. It's it's not as as old as uh, Lord of the Rings, of course. So it's an action flick. Although I have to say, I've never seen one of them. Uh, about what? Fast cars and strong men and busty women. Right then, find an action flick. Go to cinema, see it, enjoy it. Everybody can. So that is exactly what is for the modern audience as they mean it, and more. So I'd like to thank Vin Diesel for bringing joy and bringing light to my heart uh, for this. I would like to ask you, all of you, not to be mean on the internet at him, but at the same time, I would like you to turn your attention elsewhere to the hacks and to the nitwits of those huge filmmaking studios like Prime Video, like Netflix, like Disney Plus, and, well, really speak against them taking uh, already established stories and IPs or franchises, whatever you want to call it, and trying to crap all over them, deconstruct them, destroy them. This is the same thing all over and over again. This is being done to Star Wars. This is being done to Marvel and DC superheroes. This is being done to things like Indiana Jones. The upcoming Indiana Jones movie is going to deconstruct the main character, the hero. I have made a video about it just yesterday as of making of, of this video. The director has admitted that he has to change uh, the fans' perception of Indiana Jones because, what, he's 70 now? And th that he must be inevitably grumpy? It's basically what the director said. Go, check out the, the video. Well, on the other hand... What well, these people are doing over there at uh, you know the, the Fast and Furious production, they're just making action flicks about fast cars. This is awesome, and and it's if I'm not wrong, it's very popular. Apparently, people like it a lot. And why? Well, because it's precisely what it is, and it doesn't doesn't pretend to be anything else, other than joking around during an interview, having a good time, as you should be. Not to you know, in order not to get 
absolutely bananas in, in this crazy world. So once again, do go out there. Be wary. Be, be, be afraid. Well, not afraid. Be wary of those hacks. And don't support them. Don't support Prime Video. Don't support Netflix. Things like I mean, you know, crapping on good stories. Like The Witcher, for example. Support new things. Support originality. Support creativity. Support love for the craft. For art. For writing. For drawing. For filmmaking. Music. The bringing joy to people's hearts with new original things, wholesome things that are not about pushing agendas, but about entertaining people, entertaining fans, making them happy. All right, then. I, but uh, I want you to tell me what you think about the statement of Vin Diesel. If you laughed over it uh, as much as I did, if it uh, made your day as much as it did make my day, uh, or if you've got any other opinion about it, let me know all, all about it, my dear friends, and there will be all. Thank you very much for watching. Indeed, and na Maria.